Okay, this is your text today called Roly Poly Pill Bugs. And I'm going to go ahead and read you your directions first. Your directions are up here in these different colors. First, you're going to want to fill out the facts I already know about the topic box. The topic today is pill bugs. What do you know about pill bugs? That's this box here. So before you read, or if this was a video or audio, right, you would fill this out beforehand. Anything you know about pill bugs, anything. Then you're going to read the article once for flow or listen. And then again for purpose and fill out the note taker. That's the, that's the purpose in this case. You're going to focus on main idea and details. Okay, you're going to go ahead and write or draw the main idea after you have read it for purpose. And that's not the main idea of each paragraph like we have done before with Cornell. In this case, what is the main idea of the whole thing? Okay. And then what's the most, what are some of the most important details? What do you think are some of the most important pieces of, of information in this story? Okay. What do you think the big takeaways are? That is what goes here in this box. So this is just the main idea of the whole article. I personally think drawing it as well as writing a sentence is the best way to remember. That would be my suggestion. And then here, you know, you don't want to just have one or two. I mean, I would say you need at least five facts here, right? Because look at the size of this article. If you only have one or two, you're not going to remember enough about the piece. And then, of course, as you read, you can find any words you don't know and write them down. This can be words, since you're listening, I would say these are words you don't know how to define. Like if somebody asked you, what does that word mean? You would not be able to explain it. That is what I would write on that particular box. That box looks like this. And finally, after you've read, you're going to want to, uh, any questions you have, things that you're unclear about, things you maybe want to know more about. And this is not like a question about something unrelated to pill bugs. Like, how old are you, Mrs. Crito? <laughs> it's about pill bugs, okay? Don't forget. <laughs> All right, here is the text. Roly Poly Pill Bugs by Cynthia Sherwood. Some people are afraid of bugs, such as spiders or beetles, but there is one bug that just about everybody likes, pill bugs. Eh, I disagree. <laughs> if you ever pick one up, you know why its nickname is Roly Poly. A pill bug rolls up into a tight little ball to protect itself. This bug is scared of you, not the other way around. These little gray or brown bugs can be found almost everywhere in the United States except the desert. That is because they need to stay moist. But they can live in dry places like California thanks to lawn sprinklers. One of their favorite hangouts is under damp flower pots. Okay, so moist is like just a little bit wet. Did you know that pill bugs have something in common with kangaroos? After her eggs hatch, the mother pill bug carries her young in a pouch under her belly. The little pill bugs stay there until they're big enough to be on their own. So there's the little pouch down there for the babies. Isn't that cute? Pill bugs also have something in common with snakes. Just as snakes shed their skin, when it gets too small, pill bugs do too. This is called molting. A pill bug molts about five times until it is full grown. Pill bugs are a lot like owls too. Pill bugs are nocturnal, meaning they are most active at night. That is when they most like to wander around and look for food. And just like earthworms, pill bugs help break down plants in the soil. Pill bugs aren't just nice bugs. They are also interesting ones. Okay, so that's 
all about pill bugs. You are going to want to listen again if this was your first listen. And honestly, this time, I would, you know, as you're listening, you could highlight the words that you're unsure about. If you see a statement that sort of sums up the main idea, great. If not, you can put that in your own words here. If you see important facts, you could highlight those in a different color. And then when you come down here, you want to give those statements. Now remember, this is a note taker, so they don't actually have to be complete sentences, but it does have to have an, just enough that it makes sense, right? Because if you just wrote, uh, let's see, if you just wrote hatch, that tells me absolutely nothing. Hatch what, right? So make sure that you have enough words from the key details that you would be able to go, oh yeah, I remember what I'm talking about. Tricky words and then questions you might have. All right, don't forget to listen twice.